I wonder what 2018 will bring because 2017 was all the year of the butt, wasn't it? I mean, there was butt videos everywhere. Well, today we are doing another one of those, a butt and thigh workout with no equipment required. But maybe 2018 will bring the year of the calf. We could only be so lucky if we're genetically inclined. All right, well, but it is. We're doing it today, no equipment required. Here's the exercises coming up right now. <laughs> Okay, we have 30 second intervals, 10 seconds of reprieve in between so I can show you modification if there is one and just to catch a breath, grab some water if you need. But we're moving basically for 20 minutes, okay? So I've got 10 different exercises and we're cycling through that for three rounds. Starting with none other than front lunges. All right, in three, two, and here we go. Alternating front lunges. So if you haven't done a warm up already and you want to do one, click the card above there, go ahead and do that one. I am getting right into it right here today. So just nice alternating and again, with that front lunge, you can touch the ground if you have a soft surface or a mat underneath you. Try to get all the way down, keeping the upper body super tall. Looks good. All right, good. Moving to an in and out squat, so modify right here with no hop, otherwise we're jumping it out. Ready? And here we go. Stay low on this. We're moving quickly through these 10 exercises. 30 seconds is just enough to really feel the burn. 10 seconds really isn't enough to recover fully, so after round one, I'll give you a break. That does burn. And breath, shake it out. Alternating side lunge coming up. So your side to side right here. In three, two, let's go. Remember with that side lunge, you're reaching back as far as your hips will go. You're still squatting on that one leg. That's it. seconds here. All right, into a tabletop donkey. So you're here, back is super flat, alternating leg presses. Ready? Let's go. Now you don't want your bum to go in the air. Keep it flat like a table so you feel it in the glutes. Halfway. In three, two, and time. Okay, moving to a pistol squat. One leg is out, one knee is bent, and you're standing up right here we go. And gently sitting down, do not plop. We're doing 30 seconds per leg here. Push straight up. Just really using that glute on that stationary leg. 10 seconds. My last workout for you guys was hard. It was that 1,000 calorie challenge. There's a card right up there if you didn't see that one. All right, rest here for 10 seconds, then we'll switch. Um, it was like an hour. In 15 20 minutes this was a long workout and start so I was happy today 
to make this one short and sweet. Um, yeah, 20 minutes. I think this is all my legs can handle today. So, there you go. Make sure you always rest in between too, right? You don't want to push, push, push and fatigue the body so it doesn't have a chance to repair. No sense in that. It's not the way to build muscle. All right, rest. Good, 10 seconds here. Squat roundhouse side kick coming up. All right, looks like this. Squat, roundhouse, squat, kick. Switch legs now. Squat, kick, squat, roundhouse, and boom. That side feels really good. This side feels awkward. Up. I can get really high on that side too. And a kick. And up, last one. Up. All right, break. Good, going into a split, split, squat, squat. You can modify with no jump right here. Here we go, split, split. Two squats here. Two, split. Whew. This is a burner. Ten seconds. I alternate my lead legs on this. You can do that if you want. That's it. Oh, that's hard. Okay, plie squat with a leg extension coming up. Squeezing glutes, here we go. Out. Squeeze. So nice and wide. Toes are pointing out. Good. In three, two, and time. All right. Moving into a stationary lunge, forward leaning, and we're pulsing here. Ready? Here we go. Stay low. That's it. I'm gonna switch it halfway. I'll let you know when. Don't come up yet. All right, switch the legs. Moving quickly and pulse. Forward leaning to hit that glute. Little break after this one. In three, two, and time. Okay, grab some water, get ready for round two. Okay, round two, back again with our front lunges to start in three, two, let's go. Drop, good. I may have calculated the timing on this all wrong. Um, we might have to do more than three rounds. I counted, I thought I counted correctly, but what do I know? I'm just gonna go for 20 minutes, basically. And you're gonna stay with me for that long, so don't even think of leaving. In three, two, and time. All right, in and out squats coming up. Remember, modify here with no jump. Okay, ready? Here we go. Stay low. Do not come up out of this guy. You can see my face is totally even with the camera, and my goal is to keep it right there without moving. Oh, it hurts. 10 seconds. It's burning out those legs, isn't it? Okay, that's it right there. All right, alternating side lunge. Ready? Let's go. Work. Reach butt back and then power it forward. 
really a hinge at the hip and then a power forward of the glute. Three, two, time. Okay, into those donkey, tabletop donkey. In three, two, and press. Keep the bum down. Starting with those front lunges in three, 
two, here we go. Stay tall. I don't know why I like my hands on here, but if I'm not holding weights, this just helps me stay a little bit more balanced. Feels good, 10 seconds. Drop your knee. If you're not doing it with weights, make it more challenging by getting lower and focusing on pushing through the heel. That's how you target the glute, not the quad, okay? In and out squats. In three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. In three, two, and time. Oh, side lunge. Ready? Let's go. Way through. All right, that tabletop donkey kick. Come on down. You're the next contestant on building a great butt. One more, come on, push hard. All right, switch legs. It's more that hip flexor, hey? Gets it from holding that other leg up. All right, three, two, start. Squat, squat. It's only 30 seconds left though. Let's go. Ready? Go. Just 
10 seconds. Oh, this is killer. If I ever made you do this for 45 seconds, that'd be cruel. Really cruel. Oh. Okay, plie, leg rear extension. that butt right there straight leg squeeze all right last exercise my timing's right on point stationary lunge forward leading drop it stay low here Good little cardio hit too this morning, hey? Legs and cardio. But thighs, cardio. Mine are all feeling it. Oh, sorry, did you switch? I hope so. In four, three, two, done. All right, everyone, good job. Hey, it's almost 2018, and I want you to think of as you move forward with this year, with your thoughts about fitness, nutrition, wellness, about thinking about some daily tasks that you can do to achieve your end goal, right? It's really important, I believe, to know where you're headed. What's your end goal? What do you want out of all of this? Do you want to live longer, be healthier, be stronger, have more vitality and energy? All of those things are gonna require different elements of practice throughout your week to achieve that. So. Think of the thing that you want the very most and then create a little calendar of tasks that you need to accomplish on the daily to get that achieved. And then it's really important too to go back and check off those things. Did I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning for my morning workout? Did I make sure that I had some healthy meals prepped for my week? Did I ensure that I was in bed at 9 a.m. every night, sorry, 9 p.m. every night to get a good night's sleep, to get eight hours of sleep? because that too helps toward the end game. So think about what you want for 2018 and don't make it so elaborate that you can't achieve it. Even choose one thing that you really, really want. Make a calendar and then every Monday at 6 a.m. get up and check off your week's activities. Did you do this? Yes, yes, no, mm, I, no, I couldn't get to bed at nine because I was watching Netflix and I was binging my favorite show. Well, then we need to create strategies around those behaviors to help you achieve what it is you truly want. And it's a good reminder. So often we forget, right? I have many clients who say one thing, they say that they want to achieve a body like such and such, or they want to have this type of energy, or they want to live longer. And then when push comes to shove, and your favorite Netflix show is on, or a girlfriend asks you to go to a movie instead of working out, then sometimes we forget what it is we truly want. So keeping a log, a daily calendar, so that you could check off those things is helpful. And when you do get to check them off, that increases our sense of self-efficacy, right? That belief that we can achieve something, that what we desire is attainable. And the more self-efficacy that we have, the more time we devote to the task, the more time we devote to a task, the more change we'll see over time. See how that sort of cycle just works there? All right, 2018 is upon you. Go grab it by the horns, by the battling ropes, whatever you need to grab it by, and take advantage of all your good health right now, and go ahead, move daily in your fitness, your wellness, and nutrition. Happy New Year, everyone, and thanks for watching.